Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bram, and it's Monday, July 20th. And this is Deaconess Elizabeth. And we're here for your morning devotions today to begin your week. We're going to be doing Responsive Prayer 1, found in your hymnal on page 282. Holy God, holy and most gracious Father, have mercy and hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, in the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. I cry to you, O Lord. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me with a willing spirit. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. Every day I will bless you. And praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems your life from the pit. And crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. All right, and we're going to move to our scripture reading for today. We're actually back in the book of Acts this morning. The Daily Lectionary is taking us to Acts chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. Paul came also to Derbe and to Lystra. A disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brothers at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in those places, for they knew that his father was a Greek. As they went on their way through the cities, they delivered their, them for observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith, and they increased in number daily. All right, so I think one of the reasons we're switching between Galatians and Acts is actually because uh, these cities that are mentioned, uh, Iconium, Lystra, and Derbe, these are in Galatia. So, uh, you know, you're, you're getting sort of this firsthand account of Paul writing to the Galatians, uh, while he's in Galatia, so that you can get an idea of the controversies that are, are happening there um, in the book of Acts that Paul then writes to the Galatians about uh, when he writes his epistle. So, uh, you know, it really gives us a, a fuller understanding. In Timothy's case, he had a, a Greek father and a Jewish mother, and uh, it, it seems that he was circumcised to prevent any offense uh, because Paul was concerned about uh, proclamation of the gospel, and uh, you know this was not to for the sake of Timothy's salvation in any way, but it was rather so that uh, Paul would not create a stumbling block for the Jewish Jewish uh, people who were going to be hearing the, the gospel message. So these were certainly different times than what we live in today, and such controversies obviously are long past, but. Um, it's good to get insights into the early church and the controversies and the quarrels that arose so that we can uh, be mindful of, of such things as we study the Word and as we grow in our own faith. So Elizabeth now is going to introduce our hymn for us today. This morning we're going to sing hymn 830, Spread the Reign of God the Lord, and we'll sing verses 1 and 6. Spread the reign of God the Spoken, written, mighty word, everywhere his creatures call to his heaven. 
heavenly banquet hall. Lord of harvest, great and kind, vows to action, heart and mind, let the gathering nations know. See your light and heed your call. All right, and we're back on page 283. Uh, we're praying together Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. All right, well, Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us this morning? Alrighty, well, looking ahead to this week, we have Youth Night on Wednesday at 6 o'clock, so hopefully um, all our youth and some friends can join us, so we'll have a great time then. And just a little update from uh, my announcements yesterday, and they'll be updated in the newsletter, but uh, the women will continue to meet for Women's Coffee Hour on Saturday here at the church at 9 a.m., so if you're interested in that, feel free to stop by and enjoy some fellowship with them. And we are going to be looking to getting those uh, statements in your mailbox by this coming Sunday. So if you'd like to keep track of your giving and also uh, read up on uh, the latest news at Holy Shepherd and how the first six months of the year have gone for us and what we have in store for the next six months, be sure to check your church mailbox this Sunday. So uh, we pray for the Lord's blessings to be upon you for the rest of your day. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.